Toen in Belgium, the place we really want to live, Belgium, but we don't. Uh, this is an abandoned village, um, like Silent Hill a bit, you can say. We are in Silent Hill, guys! <laughs> and uh, you can also say, uh, when you look at some things, you really think of the fog, like uh, John Carpenter. Um, uh, there are 90 people still living here till this day. Uh, and it's not allowed to be uh, demolished anymore, luckily. Are we going to explore here? So enjoy, guys. Welcome inside Silent Hill. <laughs> Leslie here. Yo. <laughs> here is our mod, Philly. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go, check it out. Ooh. It's so unique experiencing there's just no one here. It's it's really weird. Totally I mean, abandoned. Trip, at least we know there's one person living there. there yeah, we saw a cat. cat. <laughs> Imagine living here in a town where everything is graffiti. Look at that house. Oh, nice ceiling. I want to buy it. <laughs> you want to buy that? <laughs> it doesn't even have a roof anymore. Yeah. But, um, it was. Uh, it started in 1965 when they tried to uh, expand the port of Antwerp, which is of course sad because this village has such a rich history to it. Uh, it started in the history of this village in the like 13th century actually. And uh, it's quite massive. And the death of even. So it's really a shame that this happened to such a wonderful yeah. film. What they said in 2021, but I still think it's around 20. So much graffiti. Yeah, it's full yeah. of it. Good, good car. <laughs> what? What? Good car. <laughs> oh, we also agree with that. We don't like car at all. Oh, so, hey, so Kitty. Terrible. We really hate car. Yeah, we do. So yeah, we call it. Meow. Hope that people have been here. I see, a, I see a cat. Hmm? Kitty. Yeah, that's a kitty. <laughs> oh. Hi, kitty. Yeah, what happened? It's so sad. Damn, so much mess. I have to stumble across all the garbage laying here. <laughs> There's lots of garbage here. That's quite great art, but still sad. This is one of the things that's intact. <laughs> it's a cat house. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah. It's a cat house, guys. Fucking yeah. cool. No cats in it. It does smell. It does smell. It really does not. Awesome. And, um, well, um, they made people leave, you know? Like, uh, for. They made people leave till from the mid 60s till the mid 80s. Then it was dropped till the mid 90s. And uh, they just didn't go forward. So that's quite lucky. But some uh, houses have been demolished by now. 
and since uh, 2021, the 30th of March, uh, they cannot demolish anything anymore or even uh, do anything in this town. So that's quite nice. So it can't stay this way, but yeah, it's sad. It's really sad. Time with such a rich history has to end this way. Yeah, I agree. Hey, Caddy. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> More cars. More. See, there's some uh, inhabitants here. <laughs> that's life. Just one of the few. One of the few people still living here. I think that's the monument they also had to bring back. Um, yeah. Look guys. Oh look at this graffiti. Cool. So yeah, we'll be strolling around here when it's dark as well. I think that's another house. You just instantly see it's cleaner. Yeah, there's someone living there. Did he have parties there? I think it's that's the Kinda like it on bandit. Children's playground. No, that's not abandoned. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> See you. Lots of nothing. Nothing. <laughs> not well, it's quite extraordinary. This exists. It was uh, erected on the 1st of June, 1985. Daniel Harris birthday um, and it's uh, for uh, the royal um, yeah, it's the royal ship it doesn't even happen. I don't know it's, um, it's uh, become, um, a captain of ship uh, it's yeah to become a captain of a ship uh, the Welcome in Silent Hill. <laughs> sort of. Yeah. Imagine how, how this small city will be when it's dark. Yeah. In a few hours it will be dark, so that's going to be totally I didn't spot any different vibe. There's no street lights. I, I didn't spot any. So I think it's going to be freaking dark here. <laughs> Look at that guys. People just left their cars, abandoned them. <laughs> Look what they found. <laughs> abandoned animals. Peacocks? Yeah, peacocks. Windmill in Belgium uh, from 1611, and it's still standing, it's still functioning, 
it's still being used, it's quite awesome. <laughs> Look how beautiful it is. Wow. Yeah, it's very steep <laughs> walking. <clears throat> walking all the way up here. It's nice. Look, I still have function in the mill. It's close now. <laughs> they even have an, um, <laughs> a little sign. Which l literally says, please don't remove the tables. Because people... <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of people who come to this place and break stuff. So that's a shame, you know. But look how cool guys. Looks awesome. More playgrounds. Somehow the playgrounds are at least the least affected by the graffiti. <laughs> and if your children play, that's not the graffiti does. I sit on our butt and slide down. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Want to take a shit? A toilet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, the sun. Slowly going down soon. And leaving us here in the dark. Oh, collapsed garage door. Oh, he might be. Watch out. Oh. Hey, kijk, die wel wat gaat man. Ja, yeah, watch out die hoor. I smell nature. Ja, dan denk je van mij ook wel. Ik heb ook mooi gekocht. <coughs> ik ben ook niet blij. Oh, hell no. Typisch van de stiekem.
think all this roof collapsed. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Damn, this looks like tiny houses, guys. Damn. Check it out. This roof doesn't entirely look very safe. Up there. Like branches just growing from inside the building. <laughs> what the hell? Cool. Look at that. Face right now, it's terrible, it's really terrible. <laughs> it's no serious that moment. 
Uh, this village was first mentioned in 1267, so indeed the 13th century, as I told, as the Dolen. Um, this um, is quite a rich history here, eh? even the 80 year, year war. Yeah, the, the war of the 80 years, yeah. Um, and it has even been flooded, and it's still treacherous till this day. The tide can be really high here. Um, that's also why they tried to expand the sea port into this place to uh, make it one big uh, haven because well the water is quite high here. It was even an island till the 18th century, so yeah, it has a rich history. And even now this church is still functioning and barely anyone lives here and the church functions. It's awesome. It's Lord Sadler. No. Lord <laughs> Sadler. <laughs> There's an evil four guys, Lord Sadler. He lives here. This church. Ooh. In I Belgium. <laughs> Enjoy. I'm very sorry it's not quite clear, but there's so much information and it's quite hard to un understand most of it because uh, the information I found wasn't quite correct. So I have to put an order in my head and it's quite difficult. But I love me. Oh, that ha that's um, a hoog house, house, and uh, you can find art from uh, Rubens there, a massive uh, famous painter from Antwerp. Uh, well, everyone knows him, so if you love art, you know about him. But it's quite a special building. He, and it's also from the same time as Rubens was, the 17th century. Uh, the 18th, no, the 17th century. 17th, 18th century, I think it was. Yeah. Mm, well, I'm not a Rubens fan, so uh, I'm more into Holbein. <laughs> so I don't know much about his art, but I do know he exists and I have seen his art. I've even been to the Rubens house. So. But this is uh, his whole house. It's very important to this village. Extremely beautiful art from the inside, and it looks like they're renovating it, so maybe they can see the amazing art today. if it still survives. Because as you can see, it's definitely yeah. perfect. Yeah. Yeah. I need a flashlight. Flash out. Yeah. Ik zag hem, maar dan denk ik dat hij aan het dutten was. Ja. Ik 
Ik heb een paardenstal, man. Ik heb een paardenstal, man. Oh, schrijf daar. Ready? Ik kan. Dat is separate. Look out. Het lijkt zo aan. Oh, ik geloof het. Starting to do it. You can give it a try. Ooh, sorry. There's even a basement, guys. Huh? Hmm? There's a basement. I don't know. Look at that. The roof is starting to break also. It's not really safe here above me. So it's not a safe decision to stay here. <laughs> but it was a farm. Look, you can see it there. It was a farm. Yeah. And uh, that shit falls in your head to keep trouble. Also that. <laughs> Don't go there. Don't. It's not safe. It's really dark in here. Die daar het even wel. Die schap in. Ja, dan kan ik wel een Ja. Oh, there was a fireplace. So this was the living room. Wat een small hey. living room. This is creepy. Hmm? It's really creepy. <laughs> Look, it yeah. really gives me this horror film vibe. Like, the woman in black is coming and this, <laughs> where? Oh, even a little curtain. Look. The woman yeah. in black. I think yeah. You know, it's not the house itself that scares me, it's more just like the fear of that people being here. Um, I love this. I think it's pretty much. And I can scream. Scream more, please. Let's <laughs> get bad guys already, huh? Uh, dit niet. Oh, daar nee. staat ook op in Kijk maar, niet doen. Kijk, het staat op in stop. Dit staat echt op in stop. Dus dan moet je echt naar boven doen. Ik ben een check a peek. Zolang als je stay on the stairs. Dat might be fun. Look at the look in the stairs maybe a bit crack.
left side you see um, the monastery and it was also uh, an asylum you know uh, a bit like American Horror Story uh, religious people running an asylum you know quite eerie so here it is as you can see it's abandoned now and stitches is lightening it just to make sure you can't see it and now we get to the monastery the real part and the asylum which is eerie because it really makes me think of American Horror Story because uh, it's again combined so you you can assume what happened there. Not the best things in the world. <laughs> so, yeah. And uh, it's even a saint it was named after, named Cornelius. Saint Cornelius Asylum, it says. with something very beautiful in the future when beautiful memories the place of my um, my sadness have uh, later when, when most memories of the place uh, my uh, wait I have to say different later as the vele mooie herinneringen the place van my verdriet hebben ingenomen uh, in one day, when all those beautiful memories have been taken over uh, by my sadness, so I can maybe hear what I can say with tears can tell. Maybe then I'll be able to say what I can now only share with tears. It's about people who uh, are upset about losing this beautiful village, and it is true because it's sad it's lost. And we even saw some terrible people here already, so yeah, the people who still live here are not that lucky. So yeah, it's sad. One thing I would like to point out about this place, it hasn't changed much since the uh, 17th century, like uh, 1614, when they uh, even made all the patterns for the farms and everything, and it's still like that till this very day, so that's a new, new, unique. And another thing I would like to point out is there was even a village near this place called um, the Saftinge and now it's called the Drowned Land of Saftinge. Uh, now you probably know why it's called the Drowned Land because it kept flooding, flooding and flooding and flooding and now it no longer exists but this does because uh, this was the island of that place. It's quite unique uh, and very old and stylish. It's, it's beautiful and there even that place, that site, even some people are still living there. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Should we visit this place if you're able to? It's a really unique experience too. 
See you in abandoned village. Oh, when you. Especially in the dark. <laughs> yeah, dark really gives this terrible feeling indeed. Thank you so much guys you for watching. And I will, we will see you next time. Bye bye guys. Bye. See ya.